Right, folks, how's it going? Where am I? Have a guess. Uh, I don't know if I can get an interview. Uh, there it is right there. Where do you think I am? I'm in Blackpool. What do you know? Believe it or not, I've not been to Blackpool in a good six, six or eight years. I've missed this place a lot. I used to come here when I was a child with, my, with a family. It, was, it would, would be my all-time favourite place to go. Um, but uh, over the years, the price for the places down here is a disgrace. Like, I very much doubt it. But if anyone from Blackpool Pleasure Beach is watching this video somehow, the fact that it's £50 admission price to get in is an absolute disgrace. Like, it's so disgusting, man. I, like, I generally can't get my head around how it's 50 quid. I get it's like a, a place to go, but I, like, I'm lost for words. Like, because Pleasure Beach used to be my favourite place to go when I'd come to Blackpool. Um, but I, I just, I begrudge paying 50 quid to go to the Pleasure Beach, I really do. Um, hey, you never know, I might end up doing it, but we'll see. But, uh, I mean, uh, with Marty, Kenny, uh, we're coming down just for a bit time away because right, after one of the videos you'll have seen, oh, I've just been struggling mentally and physically and I just needed a bit of time away and I suppose you could say why Blackpool but as I say Blackpool brings back a lot of memories for myself, it really does, it like it does really make me happy coming here and some people might be like like shocked by the thought that Blackpool is a place to choose to get some time away but it's nah it is really good personally I think it is but uh, well I'm gonna video some places of where we go I'm definitely going to uh, the uh, the one pound burger place and I cannot wait cannot wait so let's take a trip and let's go there so here we are right there the one pound burger, the famous one pound burger in Blackpool. Ask me if I'm excited because I'll tell you, I, arm, I cannot wait. Cannot wait to get a burger from this place. Um, he is on YouTube and TikTok. I will leave a link in the description. But he does a burger for a pound. One pound for a burger. That is mental. And I've just seen a Nissan GTR go past. Oh, what a day. I can't wait, I honestly cannot wait. We do slushes, sausage baps, everything for the pound. Or for a pound, you know. Slushes, ah, I just can't get my head around it. I really can't. I'm so excited. So excited. But I'll pick the camera back up when I've got a burger in my hand and I'm ready to eat it. I cannot wait. So here we go. Got the famous one pound burger. Let's give it a shot. I got it with onions and tomato sauce. What can I say? Phenomenal. A burger for one pound. It just seems ridiculous, right? Because it's so cheap. But that's actually so good for a pound. It really is. And the bloke there, Chris, what a lovely man. Absolutely lovely. I cannot believe. I, honestly, I just kind of get my head around the fact that it's a burger place that sells burgers for a pound. I really can't. It's, it's all I've been bagging on about with the lads since coming down here. That's normal. I'm absolutely blown away by that, of how good it is. So, let's take a walk further and see where we end up. I'm going to enjoy this burger. But also, I'll link the TikTok and the YouTube in the description. So you gonna you can go and have a gander if you don't have the chance to get down to Blackpool. But right folks, let's see where we end up next. Right folks, well I'm quite excited for this one because I used to love this place as a kid, honestly. Like it actually like not in a weird way, but it actually upsets me how long it's actually been since I've been here. It does make us upset. But I'm excited though, Coral Island. 
Mate, this place was a staple of my childhood when I came to Blackpool. What a place! And I'm, I can't remember, but I'm sure it's got a roller coaster inside. Let's go and have a look. Oh man! Wow! I was right. There's the roller coaster. There's the horse racing right there. Full of orchids. Oh, look at that, man. Oh, I'm so, so happy being here. Honestly, like, it's brought back so many, many, so many memories. I've lost, I've lost the lads. I have no idea where they've gone, but... Honestly. I found them. I found them. But, wow. What a place. It's... So, so good. I wish you could really see the, the smile on my face right now. I'd turn the camera around, but I'd, I'd look like an absolute twat if I did. But everything's changed in terms of arcades. It's just, ah, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Wow. I've got a, I remember as a kid being told I couldn't go in here. Look at me just freely walking in. Because I'm of age and I'm going to get ID'd. Well, so here we are. I've just been to the uh, the weather spoons um, just behind us. I'll be in line or something. Uh, I got fish and chips, which is quite criminal. Getting the fish and chips from Blackpool. Um, but outside the Blackpool Tower, we're not going to go up it because it's stupid money just to go up to the top of the tower. It is quite high up, like. Um, but yeah, I have to say, like, what's quite frustrating uh, is going into a workplace and seeing some people uh, working really hard and then you've got some staff who just don't. There was, a, uh, there was a girl in that weather spoon, she was grafting her arse off, bless her. And all this stuff, we're just standing around talking. Uh, it's just like, it lets it down so much. And yeah, I get it, weather spoons, but at the end of the day, it's still a job. You, you should still be putting as hard as grafting in as everyone else. Um, it's just really disappointing. Uh, I mean, I'm not, the, I'm not the normal type to make a complaint, because like, well, yeah, I can't really be honest to go out my way to put up a complaint in. But I think I might put a sneaky complaint in about that one because I just don't agree with it. Like, it frustrates me seeing the laziness of people and then seeing how hard some people work. It's just disgusting. Um, but, uh, Blackpool Amusements. Um, I think what we're going to do at some point is go and have a look at the rock being made. Have had quite a quite a few requests to um, to bring people rock back, um, which I will happily do because rock is one of the best things about Blackpool, and I will bring rock back for whoever wants it up in Edinburgh. Uh, <laughs> one of the, one of our friends is pointing something out, Colombian. Uh, Cannabis candy floss. Class. <laughs> oh, oh, Christ. But, I don't know where we're going to go now. I think, fingers crossed, we go to the, um, the place that's making rock, and I'm definitely going to get copyrighted for whatever that shitey music is in the background. Uh, but, uh, yeah, everything's changed. Like, I, I don't remember most of this stuff. Uh, that's changed. I don't. I think that's brand new. But I tell you what, it's bitterly cold now. It's very, very cold. Absolutely freezing. Like I'm wearing my jumper and some shorts. Freezing, honestly. But uh, let's see. Let's see where we end up now. I just thought I'd show you what it looks like because it is a nice day but it is cold. Uh, uh, sh shenanigans, I think that's pronounced. Um, he's telling us to come on. Tell him to shut the fuck up! 
Fun fact, when we used to come down to Blackpool as a family, this is where we would go. I always remember it. Um, like it's basically like a, a weather spoon sort of thing. Um, but we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go and have a bevy. Uh, doesn't doesn't sound very uh, popular in your like, but let's give it a shot. So it's the end of day one. Um, to be honest, we didn't uh, didn't really do much. Um, we end up ended up in shenanigans. Uh, we've had a canny bit to drink. One of the lads has had too much to drink um, and he's went home early, shock. But it's me and Big Matty out till the end. We're not going in early. We don't do that. We're not fannies. But look at that behind us. How beautiful is that? Tower. That's beautiful. Um, so I'm going to leave it off here and I'm going to, I'm going to combine this into one vlog of the two days that we are here. Um, what I think I'll do tomorrow, I don't know, I am debating it, as I am debating going to the Pleasure Beach, even though I did say I wasn't going to pay it. But as I spoke to someone today, they, they quite rightly said, you can't come to Blackpool without going to Pleasure Beach. Which they are correct. You cannot come to Blackpool without going to Pleasure Beach. It's the staple of Blackpool, other than the, the light, which I'm surprised aren't on. But I think they're on during October time. I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I've been down here. So I don't really know. But I think we're going to pop into the yacht and have a drink in there. Relive uh, my childhood memories of when I used to go there when I was a kid. As I previously mentioned in the clip before. Um, but honestly, it's fucking freezing now. Like, I can't lie. I'm fucking nearly shivering. Uh, but Marty's telling me to hurry up. But well, I'm going to pop into there, we're going to have a drink. You never know, I might pick up the camera later and I might film a little bit. But we'll <laughs> shut up, you prick. But uh, I'll pick up the camera and hopefully we'll be somewhere else. But I'm not too sure, even though I did technically say that I was ending the vlog here. But hey, you never know, we'll see. But let's go and have a fucking pint. Again, even though we're pissed. Big Marty! So, we're here in the yurt, me and Big Marty. Uh, he's drinking his rum and coke and I've got my my vodka and coke were both on the doubles um, you know like as I was saying in one of the clips before that the service in uh, Weatherspoons was shocking well the service wasn't shocking but as I said the the way some of the staff presented themselves was a bit a bit iffy I don't know if it cut off there because my, my battery percentage came up but um, as I said before uh, some of the staff were lazy and this was there was this one young lass who was working our arse off bless her the guys in here were just really nice we weren't standing about doing nothing obviously they were to a certain degree but it was because it's to be honest it's it's dead in here there's not many people in here because of the time that it is um yeah the guys were really good as matty said like they were really nice just had good crack with them there was a villa fan here like which i i didn't really like after they uh, absolutely slammed us last week but what can we say 6-1 I think it was against uh, Tottenham which I'm positive it was up the marks um, but I uh, I, don't, I don't know where we'll go to after this, uh, there was a recommendation made from one of the, the servers who said there's a, a bar down the street who sell good rum as I know, as I said like, Matty's a big rum fan, I, I kind of drink rum, it, it stinks it's disgusting but he likes it so we'll go there and give Matty a try of the rum down there. Uh, he said something Fallen is a very good rum, I have no idea. Fallen Angel, I think it might have been called. Um, but we'll give that a try. Um, but we're going to sit back and, and relax and, and have, a, have a lovely bevy. But hopefully we do get the pleasure beach tomorrow because it, it's something I do want to do. Even if the lads don't go, I'll go on my own. But I don't think they'd let me, well... I don't know, I, I don't really want them paying 50 quid if they're not going to really use the rides. Uh, maybe they can go for a drink and stuff and I'll go to the Pleasure Beach, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see where we end up next and I'll pick up the camera again. So we are currently upstairs in the yacht, but they've removed all the furniture because I think the guy said that they've got a, um, an event on in a few weeks time. But fun fact, you see that bit right there? 
not that anyone asked for this but fun fact when i was like 12 or 13 i don't know i, I don't i generally don't know when the last time i was here i think it would be, might have been when i was 13 14 or something hopefully i don't get copyrighted but right here right at this very part is where i sat with my mum when i was a kid like I said earlier, it actually, it, do, it does make us quite sad knowing how far I've came on in life now. Uh, I mean, I'm 24 now and how many years have went by since the last time I was here with my mum? Ridiculous. But I better stop the video now, otherwise I'm going to get fucking copyrighted. But fun fact there for you. Well, good morning. This is the next day now. Um, I am rough. I'm honestly, honestly rough. We were not out all night. I think we were out at about 12, 1 o'clock. But I don't know. I, I, I shit you not, this is the first ever hangover I've ever had in my life. My stomach is going mental. The smell of anything's just making me ill. One of the lads has got a, an aftershave on. It's nice, but I don't know, it smells like this time of morning, I'm making me ill. Um, we're we're going to go to Manchester for some breakfast, turns out the fucker's not open till 12 o'clock, so we're kind of gone there. Um, so I think we're just going to, well Matty says he wants to try a, a local cafe, but I, I don't know if we'll find one really. So I think it's going to be spoons. I do, I'll probably bevy at some point today, but I'm, I'm not doing it till later on. So, but because if I have it now, honestly, I'll, I'll spew. I'll absolutely spew. But look, infamous rock which I'll have to come back to later to, uh, to grab some because as I say going to Pleasure Beach and buying rock is a stable of black rule but fingers crossed I can cure this fucking hangover because I need it um, and I think I'll go to Pleasure Beach and I worked out I worked out why it was so expensive. It was Sunday. It was a fucking Sunday. That's why it was so expensive. And I, I didn't take that into consideration. Because it's... You see, it's only 35 quid today and tomorrow. Which... Don't mind paying 35 quid for. But I was there... Uh, I was looking yesterday. And... The tickets back in the day when they used to do the offers on them you could get a wristband for 23 quid with a voucher that is mental I mean it's only 11 pound more but it just shows you how much like inflations have brought everything up it's ridiculous but right let's go and get myself a breakfast and hopefully cure myself for this fucking hangover and I'll see you soon So here I am, profusely shaken because I'm at the very top of uh, Blackpool Tower. This is fucking awful. I don't like being up here. I generally am shaking. Look how high I'm up. 401 feet. <laughs> Honestly. And now I'm going even further. Oh, no. Oh, God. There's Big Cadman. Oh, yeah, we are. Well, uh, I'll turn the camera around and I'll, uh, I'll show you the view. So here we are, all the way at the top. 
you can get further up there there's Blackpool Stadium absolute shithole if there's any Blackpool fans I'm sorry and I'm actually talking but I'll go walk on the glass to show you that I've done it well this will make some video if I fall through this floor That is fucking awful. So, that is me, Matty and Kenny down from the very top of the tower. Right, what do I think of it? It's all right, to be honest, it's not too bad. Uh, it was 16.50 a ticket, that's for an adult. And I think it was like 10 or 12 quid for, uh, for children. Um, I, don't, I don't think that's that, too, that bad. But I, I, I think like... It, it, it's mad to think that for 20 quid more, I could have been like on the Pepsi Max. But I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, I know you'll see in a few clips that I kept saying I'll, I'll, I'll go there and I'll go now. But I will, I will go uh, before I leave, 100%. I'm not leaving Blackpool without going to Pleasure Beach. Uh, I have to say, it's sunny over that way, um, but I'm fucking freezing. Um, it's honestly it's Baltic. Should have put a coat on, and I'm a, a twat, and I'm wearing short again. Honestly, no sense, no sense. But uh, I didn't realise there's a Harry Ramsden's. Yeah, I didn't actually know that. Um, but we're just gonna I think we're gonna find somewhere else. well folks you join me here um, back home sorry about the washing machine in the background but unfortunately we didn't go to the pleasure beach as I said I wasn't going to even though I think probably loads of times during this video I have said that I would I would have went but I didn't realize and I do still stand corrected in saying that it is £50 to enter the Pleasure Beach and go on the rides, but if you want to get it at the price of like £35 and £25, you have to book it in advance. Uh, and that shows you how long it's been since I have been to the Pleasure Beach, because I forgot all about that. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you all enjoy the clips that have included uh, of our time down in Blackpool. Brilliant place, absolute brilliant place. Um, what did we do? So we went for food, got absolutely smashed out our heads. Um, I was absolutely drunk and I was so hungover the next day. Believe it or not, first hangover I've ever had, I think, in my entire life. Um, so yeah, what have I come back with? Have a guess. Got some rock, got even more rock. Look at the size of that fucker. That's what she said. Uh, I can't show you that one because that is very inappropriate. <laughs> I kind of believe they make that sort of stuff at places like that. Uh, I came back with... I always get one of these when I go down because you have to come back with a jaw like this. I got um, some strawberry rock unreal what else uh, i got some of the guys from work a present uh, um i got them all some rock i'm sure they'll be absolutely thrilled by that someone else some as well uh, i don't know what the fuck that says i have no idea what that says but, yep, came back with some rock, absolutely buzzing. So happy that I got rock because, like I say, you just you've got to get rock when you go down there. I generally don't know what that says. Oh, that says Aiden because well, my flatmate Aiden, well, he's got a, a it's not a weird name. It's just a, an unusual name, a name that you wouldn't really hear of. It's a Turkish name, believe it or not. 
Um, so of course, you, I don't think they would have had that. I would have probably have had to ask them to make that specifically, and I don't generally think they're going to do that, unfortunately, because they're a busy place. Um, they're always making rock constantly throughout the day, and I came back with some strawberry uh, rock, which I'm going to have a bit of. Actually, no, I'll not dig into them yet. I'll dig into these um, and give these a shot. Try and open them on the camera. And we'll uh, do a review. A review. As if. I forgot to get into And also, as always, they're stuck together. Unreal. Uh, honestly, unreal. I will never ever complain about rock because it is really nice um but once again i hope you all enjoyed um sorry it wasn't very eventful or anything sorry i didn't go to the theme park but fuck that shit up paying 50 pounds just to go and ride some roller coasters even though that is relatively actually cheap um but i'm going to be going back down in a few weeks time um because as i say it is always good to get yourself away once in a while it's nice and refreshing I'm gonna sit down, play a bit FIFA, edit the vlog, and I might be going out later. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, rest of your week, weekend, or whenever you are watching this. Um, and enjoy it. Um, so I'll see you all in the next one, whatever the fuck that is. See you soon.